the Canadian Bowl is on tap. Only two teams remain in all of the Canadian Junior Football League, and one of them is coming out of Langley and the Rams, and uh, that's where we are right now inside McLeod Athletic Park. I've got Duncan Little, the quarterback of the Rams, and Jordan McCarty from the Rams coaching staff, the, uh, the QB coach. And uh, Gentlemen, uh, are the coats ready? Are the toques ready? The, the, the full-on winter boots? Are you guys prepared for what you're getting into here? Of course, we're prepared. We're getting ready. Uh, you know, we've been practicing a little later at night. Obviously, it might not be the same, but we're trying to prepare ourselves for this cold weather. So we don't want it to be a factor in the game. So we'll be ready to go. Duncan, for you, uh, I mean, you're one of the guys on the team who knows all about it the best. You've played out there at this time of year as well. Uh, what are you telling your teammates, your coaches, uh, as far as tips and, and trying to deal with it? It's going to be cold and just try and keep your hands warm. That's the biggest thing. Once you lose yeah. your hands, you lose all feeling. And just, <laughs> you have to focus on keeping yourself warm the whole time. That's basically so, all I say. I want to look back a little bit before we start looking ahead. And I want to touch on that BC championship game. I mean, uh, let's be honest. And you guys went up to the Apple Bowl and, and just laid a whooping on the sun there. And, and I, I have to be honest, I didn't expect that kind of a scoreline, that kind of a day. Uh, what was it about that game that made it just all your, all yours all the way through? Man, I think we were just focused on the task more than anything. We didn't let any distractions get to us. And, uh, I mean, some can say it was personal, but we were just ready to play. And uh, we had a goal in mind, and we accomplished it. So that's, you know, that's, that's all that matters at that point. But, yeah. you know. Special teams came out huge that game, too, for us. It gave me a great field position and everything. So it was a whole <laughs> team effort there. And we had one goal and one drive to win that game. So It seems as though Coach Howie has you guys focusing on that um, sort of that rallying point every week, whether it be, you know, hey, we were disrespected by the sun and that bulletin board material, or whether it be Hamilton, hey, they, they had on their schedule, they were going to play Saskatoon all season. It seems like how he's finding these little things to kind of rally you guys. Uh, it, that seems to be feeding the team pretty well, hey? Yeah, it, it helps us stay focused and driven. Like, you have to stay driven even once it gets November, it becomes just a mindset, right? the more your mindset is in that goal, the better you play. And that's just how you have to keep going. It's focusing on the tiny details that lead to positive big outcomes that make a difference when it comes to November. So we just dialed in on the little things, really, and focus on ourselves and obviously the opponent, too. But we had little things we had to work on on our own. So we got that taken care of, and we're here at the opportunity, staring us right in the face. So couldn't be any better. How about this bye week? Uh, I always hated it whenever I was a part of it, even if I was following or if I was going to be broadcasting the game and I had to wait, you know, two weeks to, for that day to come. Uh, would you have way rather seen the game come last weekend or, or I guess this weekend, basically? That, that bye week, how are you guys handling that? I think it's good to have a little break here and there. You know, it allows you to look at some stuff and focus on things and work on things. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it would probably have been cool to play, but we're, not, we're okay waiting too. They got to wait, so. We'll just play the game when it arrives. Yeah. Gives us more time to watch film. Gives us more time to prepare ourselves mentally. So it, there's some benefits and there's some negatives, but that's how it rolls right now. So we're going to play with it. Duncan, um, Co Coach Howie says, oh, I'm starting the rookie in the Apple Bowl. At least he told me anyways. And I think he was probably playing me the whole time. He won't admit to it. But, um, I mean, w what was going through your head when you see that in – in the media, so to speak, Tristan Yansu, the rookie's going to start after he came in and took over in the in, in the semifinal game. Uh, how did you sort of handle that whole situation? Or was it a scenario where Howie was sort of telling you the whole time what was up? Uh, it's just you have – we talk about everything. They, it just happens online, right? You just have to stay motivated yourself, right, and keep focused. And whatever said in media and such – you can't have to take it with a side, right? You can't focus on that. Like most of the time, I don't even listen to interviews, don't watch anything before a game. Once the game's done, then I can watch that stuff, right? That's how my mindset is. And to be honest, some of those things I didn't even find out after the game. <laughs> right? It's all so about staying know. ready too, right? You know, whoever's number's called, we got to be ready no matter who plays, wins the game. It's all for the team, so. As a quarterback unit, we understand that, whether it was Tristan, Sean, our third string, or Duncan. As long as we win, that's all that matters. Um, so 
the Saskatoon Hilltops in front of you guys here. Uh, obviously, you know, everyone in the CGFL loves to talk about how good the Hilltops are. The, you know, one for the thumb, the drive for five, this team's unbeatable and all this stuff. And that's the, that's the dialogue about them. Um, what's, what's the dialogue with the Langley Rams about Saskatoon? What are you guys saying? What are you feeling? How are you preparing? You know, we're preparing the same for any other team. It's nothing different. You know, they're they're the challenge. They're the oper- you know they're the best opportunity you could ask for. Um, you know, they play really hard football. They're smart. They're aggressive. They're gonna make you play a full sixty minutes if someone can challenge them that long. So, uh, you know, we're gonna be ready to go. We're gonna play hard and we're gonna put our best foot forward and let the chips fall. Mm-hmm. Duncan, you've uh, you've seen this team. Uh, you know what they're all about, especially live. Uh, when when the bullets are flying out there, what what are you saying to, to your teammates, if anything, about you know, hey, we need to be aware of this or, or expect this? Is there any of that stuff, or are you just kind of sitting back and taking this as again just like a normal game week? I give my input where it's needed. Right, the coach and staff has created a great plan, so I'm just going with that. I say what I know. Right, I can't overstep. But I don't want to. I want to help my teammates know what to expect. Like Javon's played against them as well. So he has a lot of input as a receiver. So that's a great feedback for me and him knowing I, I see what he's seen. Right. And that's great for us just knowing what to expect. So Jordan, you, uh, you played a Canadian bowl pretty recently uh, against this Hilltops team in 2014. Yeah. Um, is there anything from that, that, that you're, you know, bringing to your players this week is from a coaching perspective. Man, just that they're not going to give up any freebies. Um, they're sound. I rarely see them make any mistakes on film, as I'm sure you guys will see too. But they're a solid team. They're well coached. They uh, they just don't give you anything free, and they make you earn it. And uh, it's going to be a hard game. Um, Jordan, from the quarterback position, what needs to happen to win this game? Is it is it a huge game, 300-plus yards, four touchdowns? Is it maybe a couple of first downs with the legs or maybe a rushing touchdown? Or is it just protect the ball, have a stable day? What needs to happen for the Rams to win from the quarterback spot? I mean, I would always love to see 300-plus through the air, but I think it's going to take multiple drives down the field to win the game. Um, you got to be able to piece together drives to compete with this team. Um, if you have quick three and outs, you know, turn the ball over quick, they'll jump on you quick and they'll be up 25, 27 points in a minute. So you got to be ready. And when the moment approaches itself and it presents itself, you got to be ready to pull the trigger if any the slip-ups happen or anything occurs, right? It's Duncan, Duncan, has it sunk in that, uh, you know, you guys are going to the Canadian Bowl, you're going to be in the, the banquet of champions and uh, all that stuff that, quite frankly, I know a lot of guys don't like, that that stuff the night before the game where you got to go and smile and sit in the same room as those guys and take part in all that that stuff. Um, has it sunk in, the experience that you guys are about to embark on here? No, not at all. Just my mindset is grind, right? I just need to focus on putting in the work right now and just keep focusing on film, right? That's all I can think about right now. I'm not – once – if we win, once we go and go play, then that will be the time I can enjoy it. And that's my yeah. mindset. What's that like? I mean, sitting down for a meal, sitting in the same room, talking about sharing awards and watching videos of highlight clips of their all-stars and your all-stars and, and, and all that stuff going on the night before a huge game. I mean, what's that experience like from a, from a player and a coach? Uh, it was a cool experience. I Honestly, I wish more players could experience it. Obviously, only two teams can, but – it's a cool experience. I encourage all the players to enjoy it. Um, soak it in. Very few get to go to those. And just enjoy the night. And, yeah, you get to see the other team and stuff. You know, you get to see your colors. You know, it's a good night for both teams to have fun, enjoy it, and then go off to war tomorrow. Gentlemen, I appreciate this time very much. Uh, uh, hey, it's going to be a lot of fun. And like you said, you got to soak it in. These opportunities don't come up all the time. So enjoy yourselves and uh, represent BC. Bring that trophy back, uh, back out to the coast, all right? We're going to try. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.